Ms. Sidhu should probably switch. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Ms. Sidhu? Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Minister. Uh, thank you for coming uh, today to talk to us as a committee. Uh, I know that uh, our government has historic uh, investment in home care will make a big difference in our communities. Um, can you please explain what um, this uh, uh, adjustment will uh, mean to the com community across Canada and then over two, uh, almost $2 billion uh, in Ontario uh, for home care? How you uh, think, I know it's a territory and province's uh, responsibility to deliver that, but how are you seeing that uh, be delivered? Thank you again for a very good question. So uh, you're absolutely right. The investments in home care are very important for the long-term sustainability of health care systems across the country. We all know that health care uh, is one of the uh, it is the largest uh, single budget item on uh, on the uh, the books of our prov provincial and territorial colleagues uh, and that there are ways that we need to make sure that that as Canadians uh, uh, public funds are used for home care, that they are used in a way that there's good value for money. So uh, we know, for instance, that some of the most expensive ways to deliver care are in hospitals and by physicians. Uh, we health experts, as, uh, as you well know, will say that one of the ways that we can do better is to be able to get care into the communities. So we are very pleased that in, as we worked with our provincial and territorial uh, counterparts that they agree this is an area of priority and uh, that we were able to offer additional resources in a, on top of the growing Canada Health Transfer specifically for home care that will allow uh, that transformation of the health system to get people out of hospital and get the care they need at home. To date, I've had uh, really excellent opportunities across the country to meet with uh, home care providers and to meet with uh, provincial officials and experts on this to see the kinds of ideas that provinces have about how they want to use this money. We expect to come together in the near future with all provinces and territories to talk about specifics as to how they will, will use those new investments in care and uh, also importantly to agree upon a series of, of metrics or, or national standards uh, where as to what Canadians can expect so that uh, we will be accountable to Canadians and, uh, for making sure that the investments that we make in home care will in fact go to improved access to care. And uh, when will the fund provided under this agreement begin to flow? Well, there are specific arrangements that are being made uh, as we speak in that regard. In terms of how quickly the funds flow, I know that it's important that it is done as quickly as possible. I don't know whether we have a specific date on that, do we? Um, the, um, the plan is to try to ensure that um, we, we have further conversations we have to have with the provinces and territories, but to have the first year of funding flow fairly quickly. So we're looking at what the mechanisms would be to do that. And so I think the idea would be um, to get going, put some of that money out fairly quickly in year one um, without having the conversations we need to have on the details slow that down. So that we've already told the provinces and territories that's the intention and we're working with the government to figure out what the best mechanism is to do that. Thank you. Thank you.